Hello everybody, Ian Robson here, welcome back to another episode of Sosnovka. Alright, the DLC, the Coon DLC has been released. And uh, I got a grass field right here, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, rock this up real quick. Uh, so I got a fertilizer tractor right there, it's currently just doing its thing on the field. And everything's been plowed. Apparently I have a great demand for barley, but that's a higher price at the vegetable warehouse. Go figure. Anyhow. Let's burn this time a bit more here, so it's like in the daytime. Oh, we have a great demand for corn, too. That's good for us, because we actually have a little bit of corn there. And we have a whole field of corn way over there, too. Way, way over there. Alright, so, let's get started. Let's grab our Series 7 here, uh, which is, like, tucked away in <laughs> this shed. Also, um, I tried using the uh, that... Uh, what would you call it? The plow see or weeder combination didn't work very well, so I ended up picking up the uh, John Deere Ripper. Uh, let me just show you that in the shop, just so you're aware of that. Uh, it is this guy right here, the disc ripper. So it's 11 meters wide. It's actually a bit smaller than that, and uh, it works well. It's about uh, I think it's like I think it was like 8.4 is what it measured out at. So anyhow, let's go ahead and. Just get ourselves set up here. So let's do this. Drop the weight off there. And then we'll get the mowers running. So the funny thing about this DLC is I actually tested it out um, with... Um, I tested it out with course play to see if it would work because I was kind of curious. Because um, I like to use course play for stuff. And uh, some some of the like the normal stuff works perfectly fine without any problems, which is what I expected. But as soon as you start getting into uh, some of the weird stuff, like the wrapper that's not quite a wrapper, um, then it's a bit odd. So, all right, let's get this guy mowing. So it's field 23 here. We want him to mow, which is just over here. Field work starting. There we go. So he's mowing, and let's grab, uh, this guy will work actually. Get him on the rake in a second here. And uh, we'll put him on the rake, and then what we'll do is we'll go to the store and pick up a baler. Uh, we will, we could rent it I suppose. The round baler that does, uh, the round baler that does the, um, the wrapping as well is not expensive actually. Uh, here we are. I think it's like 130 something. If memory serves. All right, so let's get this guy hooked up, and then there we go. So what I'm gonna do is just go to the shop here for a quick moment. Let's go to the garage, and we're gonna re return this because we're gonna get a new one. I guess we could return that too. Actually, no, we'll use that in a second. Uh, so let's return that, yes. Uh, we're gonna keep that because we use it all the time, basically. All right, so this guy's ready to go. So let's just give the mower a little bit of time there. There we go. And then we'll grab, where's the other one? This guy right here. And we'll go to the shop. Uh, I think the, the the actual wrapper combination doesn't need very much, um, if I had to guess, honestly. Uh, I think it's like 130 horsepower, so. Uh, what we'll do is, are we gonna sell that wrapper or keep it? I think we'll keep it for, mm, just in case I wanna do it something, do it separately, so. We'll keep it for now, it's pretty easy to sell. Uh, let's just go to the shop. What I should really do is make it rain so I can wash all my vehicles off. I think Norm would appreciate that. <laughs> I know he hates the fact that I leave them all dirty all the time. It hasn't rained yet, so that's how I just I clean up the equipment. And I think our cows probably need some more food. If I had to guess. Uh, what's their efficiency at? Oh, it doesn't show up at the top there. Alright. 
I'm pretty excited to use this, actually. Um, as you see, I have $220,000, which is probably was going to be for... Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, was going to be for a new field, I believe. Uh, for silage. But... Uh, the Coon DLC's out, so now I'm like, oh, let's go for the Coon DLC and just use that instead. Honestly, if you use the, um, if you were to use the, uh, uh, what do we, silage bales versus the actual making silage, I think silage bales are still more profitable. So here's the Coon DLC here. I got the square bell wrapper and this wrapper. So technically I could, uh, I could use this actually to bale the field up and then wrap them with this, but... I don't know if that's faster in this case. I think this is still faster, if I had to guess. I will have to, either way. I'll have to do I have both of these manually, and the reason why is because this doesn't automatically unload, and neither does this. So it doesn't make a difference. So this one's probably a bit quicker in this context. Let's go ahead and select, and we'll just purchase this. What was the horsepower requirement on it? 140. So this tractor that I'm in right now can actually use it. Uh, because uh, it can use it because it has 145 horsepower. It might be a bit on the low side, honestly. There we go. Let's grab that real quick. Excellent. All right, let's grab some coffee. Mmm, -mm, morning coffee. So that's what the Kuhn baler looks like. Pretty slick little job there. Doesn't look right with all my green tractors, but it'll work. I'm sure there'll be a modded version of this thing that comes out eventually that will automatically unload the uh, the wrapped bale. I can almost guarantee that. Uh, so let's do that one. Let's see how this works together. Alright, so I'm sure we have enough space there. Uh, now, where we can just start this up. So the interesting thing about this is, of course, play will actually work with the baler. What will happen is the baler will automatically dump the bale into the uh, the wrapper, but the wrapper won't automatically unload with course play. I think it's just because the way it realizes it. So I could theoretically set it up with course play, but I'd have to like tag along the whole time anyways uh, to unload the bales manually. So one way or the other. All right, let's hop into this guy real quick. Set him up for 23, rake, nine meters. Fieldwork mode, no offset, excellent. First waypoint. There we go. And looks like he's done now, excellent. Let's drive him off the field. What we'll do is we'll put narrow tires on him real quick. And we'll put them up on the other field over there. That'd also give uh, that rake time to uh, catch up there. Let's put, the, put it there for the time being. And let's grab, we'll go over here and grab the narrow tires from our vehicle shop. I always forget what they call this thing in the game. All right, customize. Wheel setup, narrow tires. I could actually increase the horsepower of this thing to 147, but honestly, I haven't had a need for it yet. There's the funny narrow tires. I don't know. Usually, I just leave the narrow tires on at all times, just even though it's not necessary. We could probably take off some of the weight. We don't need that much. And where did I leave the weeder? I want to say it's over here somewhere. Where I was just driving around, just dropped it. That's uh, a normal thing for me. Yeah, there it is in the field, apparently. Well, that was not what I intended to do with it, but I'm okay. Uh, so we want, uh, what is this, 14? And we'll go for the cultivate, because... Didn't I just see it in the field here? Was that my imagination? Yeah, it's right there. I don't know, that was weird. It was like totally visible. Oh no, I need the other side. I need the joys of narrow tires. 
Just drive through the field, why don't you? you know, nothing, nothing to see here. No marks to be left. Alright, where is the actual hookup point here? Oh, there it is in the middle. So, this is... should be field 14, cultivate. So I put this into field work mode. It should just uh, start there and weed the field for us, technically. Now the question is, I don't know if the updates actually fix this or not. Uh, they said bug fixes, so they may have fixed this. Let's find out here. So this is field 14, so if we just make reference to field 14 right now. Uh, way over here, field 14 is not fully fertilized. So if we let this guy do his thing. Ah, here we are. Uh, if we do it, let him do his thing, then uh, let's we'll see how it goes. All right, turn this thing on. Maybe we need to unfold that, that's funny. All right. I have a feeling like this is, tractor's not quite as powerful enough, but it's going to do the job. So, here we go. Let's make our first... Let's see what happens here. Okay, it's coming up to being completely full. So there it stops. Drive control recognizes that it's full. Uh, just continue on here. So there you go. It's wrapping. Just very nice. The question is, is it faster or slower? I think this is faster than instead of doing this is still faster than doing it the other way. I'm fairly certain of that. So like I said, you could set it up with course play, but course play won't automatically unload the round bales, which is where you're into the problem. So there you go. It unloads into the wrapper section. So it doesn't have what they call a I believe it's called a pre-unload chamber. Um, so because it doesn't have that pre-unload chamber, uh, what will happen is it uh, you can't continue. You have to stop and then unload. If it had a pre-unload chamber, then it would automatically uh, it would automatically. Whoa, I'm totally missing a huge portion here. Uh, if it had the pre-unload chamber, you could just continually continually go without having to do this little stop thing here. So. I don't think there's any way to tell if the bailer is... No, that's kind of weird. You need like a little monitor in here saying, hey, the wrapper's done. Because otherwise, you'd just be like, uh, I don't know if it's done or not. There you go. Once it says it's zeroed out, continue going. So I'm, I'm inclined to say this is faster than failing it all, and then wrapping it separately. Even though you have to do it manually, this is still faster. So, the one thing you have to be careful about is, like, I'm at 95% right now. And... Yeah, see? Get a little too excited in the bailing aspect, so... I don't know, it definitely is a pretty awesome little, uh, little device here. Now, what actually may happen uh, as a result of this uh, may be that we'll see mods based on this um, in the future. You don't even need to slow down to drop the bale, you can just continually go. Uh, so we may see mods based on this in the future, like for example the Mikhail Fusion Baler that was in uh, 20, or FS15. We may see that in the future. Who knows? That would be kind of curious to see, actually. So I'm just putting my foot down, and basically when I hit 80% or around 80-90%, then I'll hit the uh, cruise control. Um, or try to at least. So this is where I could just have course play follow this, and then I'd have to manually uh, unload, which isn't that a terrible idea. They're a little bit more efficient than I am, that's for sure. But I can't tell if it's finished or not. It says wrapping, bail. Oh no, it does say if it's wrapped or not. Hmm, that's curious. It says how full it is, and it says it's wrapping, but it doesn't say. Whoops. 
wasn't paying attention there at all. How far back? There it is. So there you go. That's the reason why I ended up just leaving the cruise control on, because you know, forgetting about it. But it's, it's a pretty cool little machine, though. I have to admit that. So yeah, maybe we'll see like another Mikhail Fusion Baylor in, uh, with this kind of setup, or maybe the Crone Ultima will come out again with some based on this, because now all the scripting is based on here. Uh, which is nice for modders, because then if they want to create something that is something is, uh, is similar, uh, they can do it. And that's the nice aspect of it. So, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. I am, I really like the, this uh, baler in itself. Like, this by itself is pretty cool. And I could have done squares, of course. Um, that was another option. Keep forgetting. Uh, I could have done squares too, which is not always another aspect to the game. So the bailing part with the squares would be faster. But uh, the wrapping may not be, so. There we go. And also you can kind of choose where you want to drop the bail. Now the question is, can you turn off? Auto unload delay off. Well, let's see what happens if it uh, if I turn that auto unload on. That would be kind of curious. It's already I'm automatically unloading. That's why I'm kind of curious. <laughs> well, let's just see here. If it automatically unloads that uh, that wrapped bill, that's going to be sick. All right, and it cuts it. No, <laughs> no such luck there. That would have been a little too good. I don't see anything. I don't know if there's a way to turn off the wrapper actually, because let's say I want to just not wrap at all. Is there a way to turn it off? It doesn't appear to be. Can I come back here and do this? No, nope. I think there's nothing I can do back there. Hmm. All oh, right, turned it off. This is why I often use course paper things because you just get distracted. Yeah, there doesn't appear to be a way to turn off the the wrapper section of it. So if you don't want to wrap the bales, so like if you're wrapping, if you're doing like a, if you're doing like square bales for square bales, if you're doing straw bales, they won't wrap at all. So it doesn't make a difference. But if you're doing something else, maybe it would. I don't know. That would be kind of interesting. All right, let's go over to this guy. Now let's check to see, is it fully? No, not at all. So maybe they did fix the weeder then. Looks like they did, yeah. Because that did nothing. Good to know, at least. So one of the original videos I made in FS17 is not no longer, uh, no longer a thing. OK. Good to know. Let's return the... Uh, I'm not going to take it back to the shop. I don't care enough. I'll just have them come pick it up. Magically it's gone. Okay, good to know. So yeah, the weeder only works in the first stage now like it's supposed to, it seems like. So, if you're like me and you want to uh, work the system a little bit, to find how to do that another way, like wrapping <laughs> round bales. There we go. And let's set this up to fertilize. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> and... Like so. First waypoint. There we go. He's still doing his thing. Can unload this now. There we go. Yep. That's a pretty good system. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, with course play, I'll show you what will happen. Uh, let's see here. This is a rake. So I can actually follow this course if I put it into fieldwork mode. So I can actually follow along. But what will happen is I'll have to manually unload. Oh, no, I can't even do that, actually. 
So yeah, never mind. It's not even gonna work that way. I thought I would be able to manually unload. Maybe, hmm. Maybe if I press the Y key instead of my controller button. It's possible. Let's see what happens here. I think the wrapper is pretty quick too. It doesn't seem like it takes very long. Oh, gotta stop here. Because if I don't stop, it's gonna mess up my game. Hardcore. Yeah. So of course play it kinda not doesn't work very well. <laughs> Let's just say that. Um, the last couple tests I've run, or like tried to use it, does not play nice with it at all. Uh, what will happen is the bill just forever stay there. That's funny. Just pass the bail along. <clears throat> Very cool. But yeah, you can do a field pretty, pretty effectively here. But I think the uh, if I go full speed here, I will have a bail before that's finished wrapping. Well, that's pretty close. So it's like when I have a full bail, I unload the bail. Well, that's not terrible, I guess. But you gotta wait for it to close and all that jazz. I don't know. What are your thoughts on the Kuhn DLC? I'm, uh, apparently it's raining. Well, I guess we're gonna have our rain anyways. It was not my intention to have uh, a rainy day today, but okay, we'll take it. Means we can't harvest anything though, but that's fine. There you go. Got to stop. I don't know. It's uh. And there, I feel like there needs to be some sort of like something in here to tell that you're finished wrapping. Otherwise, you'd basically have to just go by looking outside. Because like if you're in here, like you definitely would have a monitor of some sort to say, "Hey, finished wrapping." Otherwise, I have to do this every time just to verify whether it's done or not. But, I don't know, it's kind of like a mix and match. It's like, our guy is done. And now it's fully fertilized. So there you go. It looks like the weeder doesn't work anymore. Not the way, not the way I used it, at least, originally. I feel like we should buy some more cows now. How many cows are we even at? I'm sure we're they're not very happy with me right now. Well they're not too bad actually. Next animal in one hour. Alright, fair enough. Let's buy another three cows actually, because we're at uh, 47 cows. Might as well. Or no. Can I buy up to 50? Oh, sweet, let's do that. So now we have 50 cows on the dot. Sweet. Alright, so that's that fertilized. So I have to wait a little bit. Late summer and it's raining like this. Nah, it looks like hail. There actually was a hailstorm once in summer uh, where I live and it was not pretty. There was a Porsche dealership on, I think it was the west end of town. Uh, and their Porsches got hammered with hailstones. Uh, and <laughs> basically what happened was uh, they had to have, they had to do an insurance claim because it was just bad news bears. Huge like golf ball size hail, hailstones dropped that summer. It was pretty crazy. I guess I could use GPS too. Not a terrible idea. Might keep me straight and not miss so much. I don't know. I definitely like this Baylor wrapper combination. It's definitely quick. But it is pretty close. Yeah. So like this is like on a fully like a fully three stage fertilized field. Um and it's I'm having a hard time. I'm only going 13 kilometers an hour too. So like if I went, it was up to like 20 kilometers an hour to full speed, I don't think I'd be able to keep up. So. Yeah, see even right now. I'm not, I'm going pretty slow, so. Drop down to 12 kilometers an hour and see how that works out. Fairly efficient though, if I do say so myself. 
I believe, did I plant corn in this field over here? So I need some water. We need some water. There's a cartoon with that in it. Uh, I think we planted corn down there. Uh, yes, we did. 25. Ah, uh, what's that from? I think it's one of my, I want to say it's like Looney Tunes or something. Where they, they come out of the desert like, water, water, I need some water. I think. I can't guarantee that though, it's been a long time since I watched the Looney Tunes. Not that long actually. Whenever it comes on, if I'm at someone's house and it comes on TV, I'll watch it, for sure. Alright. But it is a very cool combination. It's fairly efficient, as long as you're not inefficient, like I am. But, uh, you definitely have to go pretty slow. You can't go... You're gonna run into a situation where, like, here's... This is full speed right now, so I'm gonna put my foot down. And go full speed. So, like, I'm gonna go fill up the baler before that's done wrapping easily. So, there I'm at 100%. So, like, it's pretty close still, but. You're better off just taking it easy, basically. It's a pretty complex system. You can see inside there. Nice. And you can actually look in here and see the PTO turning stuff. If I go forward, you should be able to see. You can actually see the bale being built too, that's kind of cool. Look at that. That's pretty cool actually. See all the chains and everything. Alright. Don't get lined up for this one again. was done wrapping, didn't realize. But there you go. Uh, you can't hire a worker. That would be silly if you could. And the automatically unload doesn't really do anything. Um, because it's unloading square bales, not the wrapper. So maybe the, maybe Decker will uh, will do something in the future where it has it set up for automatically unload the wrapper. Because if that's the case, that's going to make this way OP. Because uh, that's always the problem, because like, uh, the original problem in the game was uh, wrappers were too slow, and that was solved by faster wrappers. And then it was, uh, now it's going to be wrappers don't automatically unload, so people have made automatically unloading wrappers already now. So I don't know. It will be definitely curious to see how, uh, what happens in light of this. That's pretty close, I'm only going to 12 kph. At least our tractors are clean now. Gotta finish this field up before the rain makes this way too soggy. Hashtag soggy bales. Anyways, folks, I could continue doing this probably for way too long, so. Hope you enjoyed. My name's Ian Robson. If you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more Farm Sim action. Catch you guys later.